Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Super Saiyan G. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch. So yeah, guys, today we have a challenge that will probably make me cry and think about my life choices later on. But uh, yeah, so today's challenge is simple. Every single time I lose a game, I have to play Z-Girls 3. So in case you don't know what that is, it's basically this uh, gotcha mobile game with like girls... Uh, fighting robots and uh, stuff like that and everything. It's a game I reviewed a while back ago in my Waifu Collector Mobile Games 3 video. Go check that out and everything. It's a great video. So, uh, yeah, the game itself, it's not very good. It is not very good. In fact, the entire series of Z-Girls games is pretty bad. But I thought for it would be interesting if I did a Smash video and every single time I lost a game, I'd be forced to play Z-Girls 3. So why Z-Girls 3 instead of 1 or 2? Because I felt like Z-Girls 3 would probably be the least worst out of all of them. Just barely. So, yeah. Plus it's like the most modern and it's a little bit easier to record this than some of the other stuff. And uh, the footage is going to be a little bit better. So, yeah, that's a big reason why I chose that one over the other two. So, uh, and we're going to go and give this challenge a shot today. So, we're going to go and get started to be Make sure you hit that like button as it helps out a lot. And comment subscribe to my channel. You probably already noticed, too, that I'm in squad strikes, so here's the thing. Um, we're going to be doing, like, eight matches and everything, and uh, I'm going to be changing the rules here and there per match and everything. So we'll do, like, a squad strike. We'll do, like, a super sudden death. We'll do an old match and uh, maybe some other stuff. I might even let an amiibo fight and see if they actually help me see if they can, like, win for me and then stop me from playing Z-Girls 3. So, uh, yeah, um... I'll go into more detail about what Z-Girls 3 is as I play on. So, we're going to start things off by uh, doing Squad Strike. So, let's do it. It's so good. But yeah, we're going to be random for all three characters just to make it more challenging or anything. And random for all the CPUs. So, yeah. Let's see who we got. Some good people, hopefully. Alright, Bowser, Sonic, and Pac-Man. Um, I feel like I'm going to do Bowser, Pac-Man, and Sonic. And then we got the three annoying characters to fight. So that's perfect. That's perfectly fine, right, guys? Samus against Bowser? <laughs> I don't like that matchup already. Alright, so here we go. And uh, my name is Saki, in reference to the main... Well, one of the main characters in Z-Girls. Saki is basically, like, the main female character in Z-Girls. So, uh, yeah, um, Z-Girls 3. What is the game, you're probably wondering? It's... Like I said, it's a gotcha game, but it's like, it's it's a weird gotcha game, you know? It's a game about, like, like waifus, like, uh, f well, f first of all, there was three games in the series. And each game revolved around, like, well, two out of th the first two games revolved around, uh, what is it, uh, fighting in a zombie apocalypse, you know? The good old stuff. But, and then this game... Or in Z-Girls 3, you don't do any of that. You actually just end up in... S I cannot talk right now. I'm just too nervous, dude. I'm pretty nervous today. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm not losing this first match, dude. No, no, no. We're not losing this first match. But basically, Z-Girls 1 and 2, they're like a game where, like, it's focused around um, you being a zombie apocalypse. And, like, you're basically an uh, isekai protagonist, kind of. And uh, you get sucked into the world where... Uh, they join an army of waifus who can only fight um, zombies, and they're like the only people on Earth who can actually battle the zombies or anything, for some reason. I, I don't make the rules of this game, I just follow them, you know? I just how this game goes. I don't follow the rules at all, I just kind of exist, you know? And there we go. I'm popping off right now. My battles are killing it right now, but then Rob comes up and is probably going to be like, Nope, I'm at 216%, and I'm probably not going to live much longer like, like that. Alright, Pac-Man. Here yeah, buddy. But yeah, Z-Girls 3, it just, like, it, it doesn't have the zombie apocalypse feel anymore. It's robot theme now. Which, I mean, I'm fine for, like, changing it up and everything. Like, that's not too bad and all, but it's like, why? Why why do you change that mechanic so much, dude? I, I just don't get it. The game is just, it's not good. Because the gameplay is just super boring. I, I did a full review on it, like I said before. And, like, the game is just, it's just not very fun, you know? It's just not very good, and I just did not enjoy it very much or anything. It's just not the best game. There we go. We did it, guys. We won the tr squad strike, excuse me. And I avoided playing Z-Girls 3 so far. So, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so 
next match, I guess we'll try, um, we'll try Super Sudden Death. That's probably a big mistake, but I'm going to I'm gonna give it a shot and just see how well we can do. So, Super Sun Death it is. Alright, Pokemon Trainer against King D. So, we're in Super Sun Death now. So, if I lose, it's over. Wait, wait we're already starting? I expected the 3 two, one I expected the 3 two, one dude. Grab him. Alright, there we go. Alright, careful. Alright, there's two. Alright. It's three stock, by the way, so. Oh my god. I just hit one. Okay, there we go! We go! We, we did it! Let's go! Let's go! We stayed alive. We're not playing Z Girls 3 yet. Oh, thank god, man. I was so scared. I was so scared. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was absolutely terrified that entire time. Like, please, don't get gimped or nothing. I threw me off because it didn't go like 3, 2, 1 at the very beginning. I'm like, wait, what the heck? We're just jumping right into it? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But we did it. We don't get to play Z Girls 3 yet. So hopefully we won't have to play Z Girls 3, period. So let's move on. All right, we're Yoshi taking on Bayonetta. This is a special Smash rule set. So uh, yeah, basically here, can Egg Roll do stuff? Oh my god, I was like... Oh my god. So yeah, the, the rule set is basically... Uh, well, first of all, you can see we're going really fast. So I have no idea what I'm actually doing right now. But all I want to know is I just want to don't play Z Girls 3. And there we go. We got a game. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. This Bayonet is just deciding to camp me out there. But whatever, dude. I have no idea what just happened. But whatever. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm doing. I'm killing it there. Dude, I, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. To be perfectly honest with y'all. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're still avoiding playing Z Girls 3, which I want to do any day of the week, dude. Because nobody wants to play Z Girls 3 willingly. <laughs> I, I did it for a review, you know, I did it for the people, because people wanted to see me do another uh, Life of Collector mobile games video. And this Bayonetta is really doing witch timing on me like crazy right now, dude. I, I need to get out of this combo. I, I cannot get out of this combo. Alright, I'm nervous now. This Bayonetta is just like... In here. It's over! We did it! I have no idea what happened that entire match, but you know what? This mashing up smash with Yoshi actually worked. Well, that and down here. That was actually working. I got killed in ridiculous ways off the top, but you know what? We still pulled it off. We still won, so we're not playing Z Girls 3. Okay. We keep it going. Let's do, um, let's do the Amiibo one next. Alright, so here's the Amiibo battle. So my Amiibo is Joker, aka Harem Protagonist. Yes, I changed his name because, uh, uh I, I don't know. Gun, it just got old, you know? I wanted to actually reference his, uh, his, uh, Harem route in Persona 5. I thought it'd be funny and everything. So, yeah, in this match, um, I'm not playing. The Amiibos are playing. And I did a random number generator of 1 to 16, which are, like, my Smash Amiibos. How many, how many Smash Amiibos I have, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, uh, I got 1 as Joker and 6 as Lucario, which is just... How I had him on the wall and everything. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm hoping Joker or Harem Protagonist can be Goku 2.0. Because, uh, yeah, if he doesn't, then I had to play Z Girls 3. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just, I, I thought this would be funny, you know, to try and, I, I wanted to do something new with uh, every time you lose, you do this challenge. I wanted to, like, change out the rule sets, make it something instead of just playing, like, you know, eight matches and everything. I wanted to make it, like, more unique and everything, like, have, different challenges and rule sets and everything. So, uh, yeah, Harem Protagonist, you better not let me down because I don't want to play Z Girls 3 right now. <laughs> At least one he's playing, I can go ahead and just talk about the act more about Z Girls 3. So, like I said before, I reviewed this game in, like, my Waifu Collector Mobile Games 3 video, and, uh, the game is just, it's not very good. But it's honestly the best out of all three of the Z Girls games because, uh, I don't know, like, the art style is a little bit better, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much why the game's a little bit better, and you don't want to get hit by uh, Goku 2.0 or... Uh, like, the gameplay is, like, really boring. It's basically one of those games where you have to, like, build your own civilization. Like, you build, like, uh, buildings and uh, workshops and, you know, grocery stores and all that. And then you, like, make your army of uh, waifus who, are, like, are going to assist you in battle. And there's also, like, your, your main com 
Okay, Goku 2.0. Okay. First of all, you better not win this game here. Because I do not want to play Z-Girls 3 right now. I, this isn't even my... I, this isn't even me losing. This is technically uh, my AI losing. Well, now it's tied. But, you know, I, that same thing. You know what I meant. I just thought it'd be cool to have at least one game like this, you know, change out the rule set like this, you know. So every time my amiibo loses, I'll play Z-Girls 3. <laughs> but yeah, random number generator gave me Joker and uh, gave my opponent Lucario, so yeah. But, like, Z-Girls 3, like, it has, like, your other uh, commander characters that you can use and everything, and, like, they're fine. And, like, Saki, I like Saki. Saki's, like, the only character in the game that's actually fine. That's not just like a stereotypical anime girl or whatever, I don't know. She's like the one redeeming character in the entire game. Which kind of sucks, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Saki's a good character. Everybody else just sucks. Like literally everybody else really does suck in that game. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, like you can like... There's a ton of in-game purchases in the game. Like a ton. Which I will not spend a dime in that game. Even through this video. Not happening. Because it's not worth anything. And, uh, then there's just... He teched that? Good God, man, he actually teched that. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. He, you gotta be careful. Oh, he lost our scent. He needed to kill him right there, because... Lucario with so much rage, dude. I know, I, I know I probably pissed you off that one time I took on an army of my amigos. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, he's got the lead now. And Lucario has no aura, so that does help us right now. And, like, it's, none of it's cheap or anything. And then there's, like... All the grinding you have to do to, like, build a civil civilization or anything like that, it's just so annoying to do. Like, the game, it's just not good. I get, like, every game has their fan base. Don't get me wrong. Every game has their fan base, even, like, Z-Girls. Even they have their fan base. But, no, like, you could literally go in the App Store or Google Play or whatever, or Play Store or whatever, and, like, you just see a ton of bad reviews on the game. <laughs> Because it's just not good. Okay, he he was trying to do that combo there. Wait! Let's go! Okay! No Z-Girls. Oh, stop that, you stupid thing. No Z-Girls 3 today, boys. We keep it going. No Z-Girls 3. Thank freaking God, dude. Oh. Alright. Thank you, Harem Protagonist. And yeah, I changed his name gun to Harem Protagonist because, you know, he's got the Harem route in Persona 5. So I thought it'd just be funny. So, yeah, hope you enjoy our joke. Ha, ha, ha. But we avoid playing Z-Girls 3. Thank you. Thank you, Joker Amiibo. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the next game, shall we? All right, we're Banjo-Kazooie. This is the get a load of this rule set that I made in a video forever ago. Basically, in this rule set, uh... Uh, yeah, you basically... Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, I oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh god, there's items. Ooh. Guys, I might be playing Z Girls 3. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! We take those! Wait, stop! No, no, no! No, no, no! No! I forgot all about what this rule set was like besides the 10 stamina to restock. I completely forgot there were items on. I got killed by two items. Mewtwo's like touched me one time that entire game. And then the other two I got killed by items. Wow. That hurt. That actually hurt. I didn't even get enough time to like go on a rant or anything and say this is what happened. We were talking about more about Z-Girls 3 and yeah. That just happened. So now I unfortunately had to start playing some Z Girls 3. Uh, why? Uh. Alright, let's do it. Let's just get it over with. Alright, time to play some Z Girls 3. No other options left. Are we doing to fail? I don't know. I think I was doing to fail in the last match. I can still fight if I try. Commander! Should I read your voice? I don't know. There's still a chance. Should I should I even bother reading their text? And start all over again. Yeah! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry starting a new file. No not you, you all whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't even give a crap. I'm sorry a new file because what why I uninstalled this game. All the pains and struggles and all those losses and despair. Won't you all have to go through them all over again? 
and still me. Uh, so, it's tough to tell whose voice is who. No, no! Yeah, the block will be eliminated. Victory will be heard. I cannot read right now. I, I'm so dis depressed. All the stars are shining because of you. They're saying it, but whatever. He decided to go back in time. Interesting. Yeah, I had no choice, game. Yeah, like I said in my review, this is how the game starts off. By just going back in time, anything things become tough, you'll keep going. When everything seems lost, remember that the sun will eventually come up. I mean, yeah. Who who are you? Can't hold any longer. Uh, should I read your voice? You know what? Screw it. Yeah. You are. I how? Yeah, sorry if I'm skimming through text. I just don't really care that much. I'm, I'm mad. But this is Z-Girls 3 right now, the opening. So yeah, you see this girl right here? It is really... Big breasted woman? Yeah. She's one of the main girls, but I, I just don't care about her that much. Caro. Ouch! President Commander. <laughs> Love that name, huh? They just couldn't decide who hit me. Yeah, you're talking a little much, girl. There's just a random explosion. Yeah, the, the game starts off with just like cutscene and everything. It's not really that special. But we'll get more into gameplay here in a sec. This is just what it's like. It just... It's not that interesting. Like, they try and catch your attention a little bit. Can you at least put your hands down first before saying that? Yeah, really, girl. Saki! Yay! There she is! The best girl in this game. Other oh, girls look pretty familiar. Commander, who? Me? Yeah, sorry. I'm just skipping to your text. I just... I just don't care. I played through the opening of this game one time, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, she's Hanahara Saki. Yeah! Your fiance. Yep, I made a joke about that in my review. God can see. Fiance? Wait, what? Fiance? Yeah. No. Saki is the only one for me in this game. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't care. This game just sucks. Hold on, let's talk about this whole fiance thing first. And then you got Genji here from Overwatch here, but in the waifu skin, of course. I made that joke in my review, too. Another familiar girl, yeah. Sorry, Commander. There's no much time for explanation this way. Please, we must need to retreat. Retreat? Why? Yeah, I, sometimes I want to read your text, and I just, I just do not. Yeah, they're holding out your seats. What? The dawn of mankind. That's right, the dawn of mankind, people! Sparks are sparkle for you and for all of us. Please follow me. Okay, follow me, set me free. Hold on, so that girl is going to. Yeah, Genji. Yeah, Genji, exactly. I love how our voice didn't even match up in the, like, the very beginning, in the first cutscene. It sounded like somebody else's, but whatever, game. If you misplay someone's voice files and give it to someone else, that's fine. Don't say things like that. They're clearly all delicate girls. Why do you, eat, you say so cruel words like that? Believe in me. I don't know where that sudden confidence is from. I even re reach out and put my hands on top of the girl's head, as if it's done this a lot of times before. And then we got this little head pat, the little thingy here, so, yeah. I don't care, even, even so you. My name? Okay. Alright, we're going to classic Joss Sup JB, because, you know, that's tradition pretty much here. Verifying your identity in the Gakun system. Commander, identity confirmed. Great, Commander, now you can use the blah blah blah, I don't care. When logged in, you can move around, level up your senkis. Now tap and hold one of these guys, and basically... Yeah, so here's where the gameplay starts happening. So basically, to start things off, you grab one of these thingies here and just combine them and basically make your standard waifu bot like that. You have to combine them a certain amount of times in order to like level them up or anything, so... Yeah, uh, aren't you this? I'm not gonna read her text, dude. I'm just gonna talk about the game here, honestly. You guys can go ahead and read the, the text and everything, and uh... Yeah, enjoy it, cause uh... Yeah, I just don't care. Cause I played through the beginning of this game one time, and that was perfectly enough for me. But this girl here, uh, Punisher Elaine, I don't know, she is very heavily sexualized, you can tell. But she's got that really badass looking robot behind her. I'll admit, that ba that robot is pretty badass, so... There's another badass thing in this game besides Saki, that robot right there. Forget Punisher here, screw her, and uh, yeah, basically... The game, like how other gacha games work, it introduces you to like characters and everything. The main characters and all that, and uh... Yeah, you might not even use them in your party because, uh, yeah, usually the main characters are just kind of default people. And then you got, like, your better characters, like your 5-star, your 4-star, and all that. So, uh, 
yeah, um, this game, it does have a lot of gotcha pulls and everything, and there are microtransactions, which sucks, and I'm not gonna even care about that, so, yeah, I don't really care what you're saying right now, girl. I don't really care, I'm just kind of skimming through the story, going at a decent pace just so you guys can pause and read in case you want to do it, but, uh, we're about to go into our first battle here and everything, so give the command commander, and, uh, yeah, I said go ahead and fight here, so, here's how the game works. Basically, I'm just gonna hit the ready button here and do nothing. I'm literally doing nothing right now. Wow, this game is so much fun! I love just sitting here watching people shoot each other like this. God, I'm so good at this game. Look at me go here. But yeah, as you notice here, the robots down here, one of them at least, is uh, one of the bots that I made earlier when going through the tutorial. And it's the only one that actually lived and managed to carry me to victory right there. So, we win! Yay! We get our prizes and everything. Let's go. Alright, so Saki's gonna say something about a missile and all that, but uh, again, he's gonna go ahead and be like, Leave it to me! I got this! This is basically what the story's happening. Saki's like, oh, you're almost over, let's stop pushing yourself. Go and protect Commander. And then we get this nice little art of Saki here, which is actually pretty decent, I'll give it that. Uh, this art does look pretty decent. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, don't you dare destroy my ga Gaku and uh, Abaku gun. I don't know, I don't know, dude. I don't know, but yeah, I'll be watching you! Yeah, she just... Saki. Saki is dead. Rest in peace, Saki. No, not Saki. Anybody but Saki. Take what's her face or Genji instead, but not Saki. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all we can do. But really, that's the thing about this game. Like, even though she's not dead, she's like got hurt and everything. And it's like, they don't really build up to her or anything. It's not really, it doesn't, this game doesn't really mess with your emotions that much with the story or anything. The story is kind of basic and everything. Like, you're the commander, and now, like, evil's robot army is attacking and everything, so... It gotta stop them, alright? That's basically the story of this game. It really is, because I don't even care. Like, honestly, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this cutscene, because I just don't care. But yeah, after every battle, you're gonna go ahead and repair the area where you just had the battle and everything. So, uh, yeah, that's what this girl from One Punch Man, who looks like her, um, just teaching you, like, and now she's gonna teach us about, like, uh... How to like build stuff. So basically, this is the part where you go ahead and b build your uh, stuff, like uh, convenience stores and uh, bases and everything. So yeah, like I said, with with the actual game when I was describing it earlier, it is like a build your own town sort of game and everything, which is fine and everything. But it's just it's not that much fun. It really is not. It doesn't really feel that rewarding when you build something. Like it's very simple. I'll admit that. So that's pretty nice. That's something the game is nice for. It, like its simplicity, it's pretty good, but. It just, it's not that good. It really is not. Like, the story is not that great. The characters aren't that great. The freaking microtransactions are annoying as can be. And the gameplay, it just, you don't do anything. That's why I was literally hesitant on doing this challenge or this video. Because I'm like, well, for the gameplay, I don't really do anything. But yeah, we can go and build, combine more of these robots in order to, like, make more for our army and everything to, like, help our waifus. And, um, yeah, like, uh... Uh, you can get rewards and uh, do missions. Like, whenever you see those two swords collide, that's basically your main story mission and everything. And, uh, yeah, Genji's... I, I don't care, Genji. I I, I don't, don't care. It'd probably be like, enemy up ahead! We gotta go and stop her! And, yeah. But now we learn here about, like, our commanders, basically. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go throw uh, What's-Her-Face in here. And she's gonna go and unleash her inner power. Because, uh, yeah, without, like, your main characters at the bottom there... You're gonna be a lot weaker and everything. So, uh, yeah, the game just teaching us the basic at this point. Like, honestly, I'm just gonna be playing through this stage, and I might call it quits right after that, to be perfectly honest. Because, uh, yeah, not much is actually happening here. Um, like, the game is just. It's just not that great, you know? It's, it's slow, there's not much to the gameplay, and, like, eventually you won't get as much of these cutscenes in the future. Which will help and everything, but I uh, we got a boss battle here. I forgot about this part, but yeah, this chick right here who I don't even care about. We're gonna go ahead and fight her. This is what I get for like, losing that friggin' Smash match. Yeah, it's all Mewtwo's fault that I'm playing your stupid game here. I swear there was like a Z Girls uh, three Discord community. I, I don't know why, but I was looking it up the other day and I couldn't find them again. Like, I don't know if they get removed or Discord me. After I did that review video, they're like, okay, this game sucks. Let's go ahead and get rid of the whole Discord completely. But you know what? I'm probably their number one worst enemy that Discord's still around. It might be, I don't know. They probably have memes on me, say, like hating on me and everything for dissing this game. Like, they've hated me before. They're gonna hate me even more in this video when I do Smash Bros. every time I lose. I have to play a stupid game. 
Literally, guys. I'm not doing anything right now. It's literally auto-playing. And you know what really sucks? They had the one-time thing up there to like speed it up and everything, like how other gacha games do and everything. I cannot even use that until I reach like level 3 or get to chapter 3 or whatever. Which is freaking bullcrap! Why is that there then? Why does that need, of all things, need to be unlocked? And yeah, this boss battle, like, thank god I beat this thing because that was annoying. Like, you do want to build more waifus and, like, help them up, level them up and everything in order to, like, actually fight boss battles. But you see how it just ended like that? Like, it wasn't even, like, that anticlimactic or anything. It was just, yeah, it just ended. Gendy said some crap, but I honestly just kind of button mashed through my way through there and everything. Basically, they're teaching you this other feature about, like, uh, this crap here. I, I just, I don't care. I just don't care, honestly. I, I did a full review on this game if you guys want to see, like, my actual thoughts on everything. But, like, yeah, we have our reward system down here. But, uh, I can just go ahead and tap in order to get stuff. But once you combine certain waifus like this or robots or whatever, you can upgrade them and then that little cutscene will happen. You can keep going at them, like, like this until they like, reach a certain level. But, uh, we don't have a lot of resources right now at the moment, so I can't really do much. But, uh, yeah, um, Z Girls 3, not a fun game. Like, this was not fun. This was not. And I'm thinking I'm just going to get more rewards here. And I'd probably call it quits from there because, uh, yeah, this game sucks. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to go and do it for this section here. I hate this game and I wish I'd never played it, but let's hope we don't have to play it again. So let's go back to Smash Bros. All right, we're Mario against Sonic, huh? What are the odds? But, yeah, this is the the Pokemon theme rule set, basically, where a bunch of Pokemon, uh, fireball, or not, well, not fireballs? <laughs> not fireballs, uh... Pokeballs like come out of nowhere and you basically have to like Just grab the Pokeballs and go. That's what happens here. Can't I grab that thing? Okay, this did not hit him. Okay. Okay, I wanted to like hit him. Watch this. Scizor, uh Scizor, please. Go away, Scizor! Is 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 knockback increased too? And I missed my Pokeball. I think knockback is increased, dude. I'm messing up my combos and everything, dude. No, you get out. You get lost. Where's that Pokeball? He has it? Of course he has it. Alright, here we go. I don't... I, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Why, why is there more... Calm down, game! Why can't I get any good Pokeballs? Also, Mario versus Sonic. Not the best matchup for Mario. It's, uh, and I get this thing. Like Sonic with items on, it's just so much better, dude. Camping an own Sonic out of his own real set. Oh, let's go! Let's go, we take those! But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that experience with uh, me playing Z-Girls and everything. Because, uh, yeah, I sure didn't. <laughs> I sure didn't. I never enjoyed playing a game like that. Like, that's the thing. Like, gotcha games with, like, waifus and everything, they, they can definitely be good. Oh my god, you get Darkrai and I get, like... Why are you getting everybody good and I'm getting everybody bad? Like, what is up with that? Why is he getting all the good ones, by the way? Oh, let's go, though. Let's go. But yeah, Z Girls 3, it's not a good game. Just an absolute abomination of a game. Because there, there really is a lot of good gotcha games out there. I mean, sure, I'm not that into gotcha games. I mean, I make review videos on gotcha games. But at the same time, like, gotcha games are like... Alright, I gotta, like, slow down there. Like... And just focus on the Pokeballs. Lugia, let's go. Okay. I know. Okay, wait. This can't mount. No, don't die. Okay, I think we got it. I think we won. I think we won. We should be good. We should be good. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. The entire time I was saying to myself, my God. I don't want to die. <laughs> i just been doing random characters and everything throughout this entire challenge. Do you like... Good God. All right, we got, like, two more matches, I believe. So, we avoid playing Z-Girls 3 again. We only had to play it once so far. So, let's let's hope we don't do it the last two games, too. All right, take it on Duck Hunt. We're Fox. Yeah, like I said, I'm just doing random characters this entire time. Maybe not for the last match, but everything else, yes. All right, that's just what's happening here. Maybe I will do a random for the last match. I don't know. I don't know. So, Fox is a character I don't have a lot of experience with. I, I have experience with Wolf and Falco more so than Fox. But that's the thing here, like, 
I had to just pray that I actually win this game, because, uh, yeah. I don't want to play Z-Girls 3 ever again for as long as I live. Like, that's the thing about Z-Girls, like, 3. It's just, it's the best game out of the series, don't get me wrong, but it's like, it's such a cash grab. And it's like, it's funny, I made this joke in my review video, but it's funny, because, uh, they didn't, like, when the first Z-Girls came out and everything, they did not make, like, when it came out, it was around when the time my uh, first white people collector mobile games video came out, you know? And then, like, after that video came out, they made Z-Girls 2. And then after that video came out, well, after that, I made, like, white people collector mobile games 2. And after that video came out, like, a few months later, they made Z-Girls 3. So I'm like, okay, is this happening on purpose? I know I'm, like, hating on your games and everything, but are you doing this to me on purpose here? I just don't know how effective it actually is here. All right, we're doing good though. Fox is actually doing good here. My Fox is waking up, man. It's not like I was asleep anyways, as I say I don't really have experience playing Fox. But yeah, I just, I just find it weird how like, the games just kept releasing right after I made a review video. I swear, if Z-Girls 4 comes up, that like, comes out and never becomes an actual thing, I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. Okay. Fox is light, so I gotta keep that in mind, dude. I, I'm, I'm playing hard too. Like that, that game against me too. I definitely was robbed of that. Let's be honest here. That was funny. Don't get me wrong. That was like hilarious to actually see. Like, I bet you guys were like laughing the entire time that happened. But for me, that was like, that was just bullcrap. Absolute bullcrap. Okay, that did he do down smash or what was that? I don't even know, dude. I don't know. I'm just spamming out smash at this point. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was just a normal rule set, by the way. Three stock, uh, seven eight minutes, and no items on everything. So yeah. All right. We got one more match here. So. Can we avoid playing Z Girls 3 again? I really hope so. So let's go ahead and do this, shall we? All right, and to finish it off, we're gonna go ahead and do a team battle here. So we're Ganondorf and Isabel versus Wolf and Bayonetta. So we had to start. I, I was trying to make a point there, Bayo, but then you're just like, no. I thought Bayo was actually dead there for a sec. I'm not gonna lie. If I like time my, Bayo is actually dead from that. I know that wasn't a zero to death, but it might as well have been, you know? Oh, she's mad. Oh, she's mad. Oh, I didn't mean to up tilt, sorry. That's it. I'm so used to doing tilt attacks, I'm like, you can't do it with cannon. All right, easy, people. Easy there. I'm kind of losing track of who's who right now. All right, here we go. We need to get with a wolf right here, so... Oh, thank you, wolf! All right, but yeah, we just want to still avoid playing Z-Girls 3. It's not just possible. I had to play it once, but that's good enough for me. All right. If I timed that better, I think I would have had him. I had him right there. All right, we're popping off right now. I'm feeling myself right now. I'm feeling myself. Can I get a three stock? Uh, if I don't get edge guarded. Let's go. Bayo's dead. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's, let's, let's finish this guy off here. Don't die. Don't die. Why is he even for me, by the way? All right, hold on. Hold on, we got this. Three stock. Wait, no, it's a, it's gonna be a six stock. Roll. Oh, come on, Wolf, you didn't roll. Watch this. All right, watch this. Watch this. Let's go. Six stock. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, I was popping up. I'm like, no, I'm not, not playing Z-Girls 3 again. Not happening ever again. And that really... I went nuts right there. So, there we go, guys. We have done it. We only had to play Z-Girl 3 one time, so thank freaking God. So, uh, yep, that's going to go and do it for today's video. So, hope you enjoyed this weird challenge. I never felt more stressed out about losing a game before. Well, not counting tournaments or anything. But, like, in a Smash Bros. video where every time I lose, I never felt more nervous than today for some reason. I don't know why. Is that... <coughs> You know the game's bad. I feel like I might have done worse punishments for in the past, but whatever, dude. I was just nervous today. But I felt way better there with that one. So, it helped having a teammate in Isabel and Ganondorf. I didn't know that was going to be a good pairing, but it actually did go pretty well in my favor. So, yep. Thumbs up if you guys want. This thumbs up supports the video and everything. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and end things out there for now. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you hit the like button and comment and subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know what other, like, challenges you want me to do in this game in the future. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye, guys.